welcome back for another Unbox and Swatch video. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel to see future Unbox and Swatch content. Today we'll be looking at the Karen Dosh Landscape Assortment of 20 Museum Aquarel Pencils. I've reviewed these Museum Aquarel Pencils before. They're fantastic. If you have not checked those out, please be sure you do. This one's going to focus on the Landscape Assortment. So uh, off the bat, you can see the box here. Uh, there's a lot of um, information in several different languages on the back. The um, looks like the pencil numbers that are probably included on there, uh, and sort of like an anatomy breakdown of uh, what to look at on the pencil. Now they do include the color names of the pencil, so we'll be sure to include that when we're swatching them, uh, but that's on the other side of the pencil, which is why it doesn't show on here. So let's go ahead and open it up. And the box is very, I mean, it's a high quality box. It's a high density foam. It's very well packaged. It feels like an expensive electronic um, that I'm unboxing. Here's some paperwork it comes with. It looks like there's a total of 76 colors in the line. Um, here's some different sets, including that nice wood box set there at the end. And uh, just some more information on the back and advice on how to use them. And here are the pencils themselves. Really, really nice pencils, large pencils. These are much bigger than a traditional size pencil. So when you look at the price per pencil, you want to keep in mind that this has a lot more lead and pigment in it than a traditional size. So without further ado, I will get ready to do the swatches. We're going to lay down the color, dry first. I'm going to do uh, a heavy-handed application, then lighten up to about half of that pressure. And after we see them all dry, then I'll go in again with the Mimikolinsky uh, round size 6. This is the brush that I've been using uh, consistently for these videos so that we can see the same thing. Uh, in comparison to others, I'm also using Fabriano watercolor paper, cold press, 140 pound in all of our videos. So keep that in mind. So we'll go ahead and get started with swatching. All right, so we've laid down our colors. Uh, off the bat, I'm very impressed with the color selection for a traditional landscape set. These look like they're going to set up really nicely. Looking forward to using them. Also, if you haven't watched any of our previous videos on the specifically the Museum Aquarelle by Karen Dosh, it's really important. These colors are extremely smooth when you lay them down and they found this perfect balance in the lead where they, they are not soft like lipstick where I'm afraid I'm going to smush the lead if I push too hard but also they're not so hard that I feel like they're going to crumble on me when I apply pressure. So they've really found a wonderful sweet spot. So without further ado let's add some water and see what they look like after water's applied. Thank you. 
All right, so here are our colors all laid out. Overall, I would say I probably wouldn't change a single color. Now, in my opinion, um, for this, th this is really a fantastic landscape set, whether you're doing spring colors or fall colors or summer colors. I mean, really a very nice selection of colors. Um, as you can see, they rewet beautifully. So uh, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and like the video if this was helpful to you, and we will see you on a future Unbox and Swatch video.